Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Gangs, drugs, and guns mixed for a violent past 24 hours on the streets of St. Louis. Seven victims were wounded in drive-by shooting. Steve Jankowski reports police fear this might be the beginning of a violent summer. Eight people were sitting on this porch in the 4,000 block of Page around midnight. A car pulled up, shots were fired, and four people were hit, one of them in the head. The 22-year-old man is now in serious condition. Then about 12.30 this afternoon, a car pulled by this house in the 2900 block of Bailey. At least one man inside the car opened fire. Three people were hit in the buttocks and legs. The car sped off with people from the neighborhood in pursuit. Several blocks away, the car struck a pole and the gunman fled on foot. This is not the first time these two rival groups have exchanged gunfire. And police fear it won't be the last. Summer's here. This is, this is only the beginning. It's going to be a hot summer. Guaranteed. Officers patrolled the area with the help of the canine squad and thought they had found their suspect in a house near where the car was abandoned. But that lead didn't work out. Police say that rival gangs and crack cocaine are behind a lot of the shootings that take place on city streets, many involving innocent victims. And one officer that I talked with today about this shooting indicates that more people would die if these guys were better shots. They're trying to shoot at the, the biggest part, and then when they shoot, their hand, their hand drops, and then they just hit the leg. But they don't know what they're doing. So you can tell it's all teenagers that's mainly involved in all this. Other officers say shooting in the legs is just a warning or an attention getter that when the matter is really serious, larger, more powerful weapons will be used and the results will be more deadly. People who live under the gun say the end result is the same. Don't make no sense. Dope related, game related, it's not, thank you, there's no way. Those residents add it may take the death of the rivals to bring the violence to an end. I'm Steve Jankowski, News 4. Now today's shootings are tied to rival gangs. Police are not sure the motive for the shooting last night on page.